this is a scent males typically like okay this sweet young vibe i find that generally speaking men like these candy sweet scents on females like do you guys agree so today's video i'm sharing with you some of my cheapies in my collection the only cheap perfumes i have now when i looked at the perfumes that i will talk about i was very disappointed with the little collection that i have now because what always happens is if someone comes over and i get so excited about a perfume and they tell me no i don't hang out with that kind of budget with fragrances so i need you to discuss something cheaper for me to go buy oh no worries check out this perfume i have before you know it i'm like yeah you can keep it and then i now end up with like i love the ones i have but i had a lot more and obviously the collection has shrunk some i have finished used loved and finished and others gave away they have new homes now and so it looks like i will need to do an updated version of this fragrance collection however when i purchase them i'll come back but for now let me share with you what i do have let's get into it at the moment i counted three of fragrance mists in my collection and these particular ones are from bath and body works this first one is called whipped vanilla chiffon it just smells like vanilla pure vanilla and it's delicious once the alcohol evaporates you're left with that creamy vanilla smell and i love this to wear to bed it's really nice my next fine fragrance mist is from bath and body works as well this is called you're the one this smells like a rose aquatic rose yeah clean rose i tend to wear this one straight out of the shower i moisturize spray this on my body then put on my robe or my my gown my nighty and you know just do that by the time i go to bed it's still lingering but it's not as potent i like to use these fragrance mists along with some moisturizers from bath and body works as well because they can come as a set i have a um moisturizer in this scent as well in all the body mists i have moisturizers in the scents so yes this is like a rosy scent um you're the one and like i said they don't really stay too long on the body but if you're nicely moisturized or nicely oiled they do tend to stick to your body for longer so this is just a clean rose scent so my next fragrance mist is snowy citrus swell this is also from bath and body works and it came as a set body cream the spray shower gel i tend to like to buy full sets of scents from bath and body works just because you know if you wear your body oil and you moisturize let's say you shower with the shower gel you moisturize with the cream and you spray this on top then the scent is more potent and it stays on the skin for longer i spray these mists directly on my body and then get dressed that's basically it this is a nice seasonal scent i'm not sure if they carry this all throughout the year this is a christmas scent they are all about eight fluid ounces so that's 236 mils and they take me forever to get through not all fragrance mists are good quality i mean it's not like it's a perfume or anything like that it's not concentrated it's not even an eau de toilette but it's it's a light mist you know so we we can only expect it to last as long next up i will talk about some of my zara scents that are currently in my collection i have since used and finished some and i tend to keep my zara scents in the car um just so i can top up on top of my perfumes let's say it's a really hot day and it's nice to have a perfume around to just spray on top i would have just put on like a nice body cream and i'm, I'm about to 
step out of the car to go to the shops and I just take my Zara scent from the car and spritz on top and that's my scent of the day but yes don't expect them to last long i don't that's why i keep them in my car we all know that zara scents don't stay on for long and we also know that keeping scents in the car is not a great idea the change in temperature affects the perfumes so i'm happy to keep some of my cheaper scents in the car on the go so yes let me show you some of my zara scents okay the first one here is gourmand addict all of my Zara perfumes are 100 mils. Um, this is an eau de toilette. It's a gourmand scent. I feel as though it's more oriental. So there's some florals, it's musky, and it's sweet. I will do like a dupe video because most of these Zara scents smell like something um, that I recognize that is more expensive yes so they're like dupes of expensive perfumes so um, this is a really good one if you like sweet you know light floral musky scents command addict my next scent is wonder rose this smells like a beautiful rose light and musky slightly sweet as well it kind of reminds me of coco mademoiselle go give it a try the next one the last one i will show you today is called ruby kisses it has a berry smell so the thing about the cheap perfumes is they're very alcoholic smelling from the initial spray just because they use the alcohol to preserve the ingredients to preserve the scent and things like that so once you let the alcohol evaporate you have a really nice scent like a dry down of like berries citrus berries but it has a light mask and a bit of floral in there so i think it's like an oriental berry scent to my nose so this is another scent from zara and it's very affordable um they're about 29 to 30 dollars australian dollars so 100 mils you can't go wrong my last scent from zara today is accord number no. four chypre if you have been on my channel for a while now you know that this perfume i featured in my affordable perfume collection video from a while back i'll link that in the description if you're curious of some of the scents that i used to own and now i don't but loved nonetheless so this is one of them and as you can see oh my goodness it's almost finished and this makes me sad because i really like this sarah scent this is the perfect clean scent okay and i wear this straight out of the shower straight out of the shower you know you dry your body you moisturize and there are certain moisturizers that i know work well with certain perfumes that i'm planning on wearing so there's a moisturizer that i know goes really well with this perfume so i'll put that on and i'll spray this and then put on my robe and get on my day on my nighty or whatever i'm deciding to do but this is a wonderful out of the shower scent it's so clean crisp and feminine elegant you know it's not sweet it's just like a fresh clean oh. it's perfect i don't know how to explain it to you but i really like it if you're interested in what else I had to say about it, go watch the last video I made about my affordable perfumes. I will link that in the description box, like I said. But don't sleep on Zara scents, okay? So the next perfume that I'm gonna mention is a celebrity perfume. This is by Rihanna. This is Rebel Fleur. This is it right here. So she came out with rebel fleur love and it's more like a dark bottle and i love that one just wait for my unboxing okay i'm so excited to unbox new um affordable scents and add them to this collection but 
this is a scent that initially I did not like. Isn't that funny? Like, it smells a bit coconutty. It actually smells like Miami Glow by JLo. I have never linked these together, but. It's not, they're very similar. I would like you guys to try these together and see if you can smell what I'm smelling. Like if you can detect the similarities because they smell really similar. Anyway, Rebel Fleur is a perfect scent for summer. It is perfect. I'm telling you this now even though you might not like it initially but if you spray this you're gonna get compliments and it doesn't cost that much all the ones that I've shown you so far are below $40 like easily below 40 maybe I should even say $30 depending on how many meals you want to purchase but I always go for the biggest bottles or a hundred meals and that price depends on where you're purchasing the perfume. You know, some drugstores are really cheap or online is cheaper sometimes. You can, you know, you can have a wider variety to browse, to check prices. And also sometimes these scents go on sale a lot. You know, if you time it right, you can get it for cheaper. Now, this is a really great scent. This is an essential in your affordable perfume collection for summer i've been saying this like i said i'm not a fan of coconut but this synthetic coconut that they used in here is really good i purchased that tom ford solo blanc and it's a coconutty one and it was a toilet and i had to get rid of that i said all of this in my earlier videos of my collection but I couldn't keep that one it made me feel sick but this coconut with everything else that's in here it's just great like it's a warm coconut and like it's clean and fresh and sweet at the same time but nothing too sickening you know I just thought it was just gonna be something ordinary but as I wore it more I got compliments so as you can see I have gone through the bottle and I am generous with my sprays when I wear the cheaper fragrances because I know that they don't stay on the skin or on the clothes as well as the other concentrated perfume oils. Great cheapy, okay? I might as well talk about Miami Glow by JLo. It smells similar but not quite the same as Rebel Fleur by Rihanna. But you can wear them in the same scenario it's so this is more uplifting that one is more sexy the rebel flirt is more like a sexy summer this one is more uplifting like a joyous occasion like a party by the beach kind of scent smell a bit of coconut in here as well so yeah but this is a great cheapy as well and JLo has really great scents. Like there are some celebrity perfumes that you can just shop their range and be able to find things that will work for different occasions. Honestly, bigger brands, if they had this in a fancier bottle, they would probably charge us like a lot, like maybe 200 and something dollars. But this was below $60 only because it was really hard for me to find all the stores that I wanted to purchase this from were not shipping to Australia I ended up going on Amazon and this one seller had it and was shipping to Australia and you know it just costed extra as compared to if it was in the drugstore or somewhere or other but I couldn't find it yeah so it costed a little bit more when it shouldn't have but that's okay I'm happy to have it it ended up being like $65 so Miami Glow by JLo. Don't sleep on it. Another great celebrity perfume is by Elizabeth Arden. Elizabeth Arden blessed us with a variety of perfumes at an affordable price. Thank you. 
you can find anything and everything for any occasion male or female this particular one i'm going to show you i have gifted many elizabeth arden bottles always red is a musky sexy rosy scent like the bottle just tells you i have spoken about this perfume in my previous videos but i know that my mother owns a bottle like this and she likes spicier scents so and this is a nice rose you know like a musky rose the one that we like with no greens, just the petals kind of smell. I really like this. As you can see, I'm, I'm getting through it. Okay, now what cheapy video does not have Fancy by Jessica Simpson? <laughs> Even over a year ago, when I first started talking about my perfumes, this was one of my favorites. This is a burnt sugar like caramelized sugar type of scent it's very sweet and it it cocoons you like it hugs you you know so this is a very nice bedtime scent this is one of my favorite bedtime scents but of course i wear it during the day as well as you can see i'm getting through the bottle um I don't typically use it to layer however if I had fresh scents that didn't have any touch of sweetness and I wanted sweetness I would wear this on top just to add more depth the next perfume I'm going to talk about is pink sugar by Aquilina this smells like sugar syrup I can say that to summarize everything I don't have to you know state the notes and things like that it's basically just a warm sugary slightly spicy but not really like a soft spice um, but if you are wanting to know more details about a specific perfume go ahead and leave me a comment below and ask me whatever question you have and I will respond to you that way in more detail about any scent you like so this particular one you know it has a bit of raspberry um fig leaf the dry down is vanilla tonka bean a bit of caramel and sandalwood as well but all that said it just smells like sugar syrup if you've ever smelled sugar syrup or burnt sugar something similar to that so it's great i use this for layering or this would be a great like kids perfume gifting because it's very affordable it's one that i always have in my collection because it's a very simple vanilla scent that is affordable so you know i think it's always great to have something affordable in your collection if you like sweet scents get it but if you feel sickened by two like sugary scents this is not a perfume my mother would like for example so we can forget that no way am i gifting this to her because then she'll just return it escada has really great clean fresh scents so this particular one is called joyful i've had for a very long time i'm getting through it but it's very floral and i was not a fan of just plain floral scents okay it's a clean floral it almost smells like the stem of a flower so it's green and floral i have to pick my occasions and i use it to layer as well but if you are after affordable clean scents escada is a great brand to go and browse and they're affordable so worth the risk the next two scents are from juicy couture this particular one is viva la juicy noir with the pink bottle i have a long way to go with these perfumes but they are good everyday scents to me these are errand perfumes now even though i use the juicy couture perfumes i have as like errand everyday perfumes it does not take away from how good they are it's just that i have a lot of perfumes so i have a wider range to choose from however these were my favorite starting the collection type of perfumes they were just great in the beginning for me and i still want them these are not perfumes i'm gifting let's just say that these are perfumes i'm gonna keep until i run out noir this is great for nighttime but 
I wear it during the day as well. Juicy Couture Gold Couture. This one is more of a caramel scent. It's sweet. Oh, I almost forgot how good this smells. <laughs> mm. This is a scent males typically like, okay? This sweet young vibe. Depending on the type of man you're trying to attract, I find that generally speaking, men like these candy sweet scents on females. Like, do you guys agree? I find that that's the case with the males around me. Don't get me wrong, they, they love quality perfumes. You know, they wear like expensive perfumes i know some that wear fragrance de bois and you know all those all those pricey ones creed and stuff but wear baccarat and wear chanel's and all of that but at the end of the day this will still turn their heads do you agree because let me know how do you even pronounce this maruja I hate to say it, but I don't like this anymore. Like, it it smells like a toilet spray to me. It smells a bit Middle Eastern, but not the really good Middle Eastern perfumes that, you know, I've tried and love. But this is one of the ones that I don't like anymore. We're just gonna put that on the side and not, not dwell on it too long. Lastly, but not least, this is Moschino Gold Fresh. Oh, this is a spring summer scent. It's sweet, but fruity. It's a fruity, clean perfume, okay? So this is another great scent out of the shower. You clean, and this just goes really good. Um, with it, it's a go-to scent if I'm running errands as well. And it's one I am happy to share for somebody else to spray. I'm not gonna be side-eyeing them because it's affordable, you know. This one is great for work. I wouldn't wear it on a date, depends. Maybe a beach date, hangout, casual, friendship kind of date. This is about 40 something dollars, but you can find it cheaper if you shop better, you know. At like a shopping center, it'll be like $65, but online at like fragrancex.com, you can probably buy it for $47. So just, you know, look around and you can buy these for as cheap as you, you can. Automatically you think this is how you spray it, but no, it's just the lid. You have to lift it up like this. So this is another affordable classic. Well, that does it for my affordable perfume collection. I hope to do an updated one. Plan on purchasing some of my staple favorites that I'm disappointed I could not find or I still don't have. So I will come back with an affordable collection video. And in that video, I'll be suggesting the must haves of affordable perfumes. And it'll be my opinion and my opinion only because what happens is whatever is out in the market is what everybody's liking to talk about. But I like to stick to really good classics. So I'll share what those are with you and we'll just work from there. So thank you for watching. Hope you subscribe and you leave me a comment and I will see you in my next video. Bye.